Hello everyone, this is Deliververse Studios. Welcome to another episode of Android Programming. We'll be looking at now the Firebase Crash Reporting. Uh, the Firebase Crash is the comprehensive and actionable information to help diagnose and fix problems in your application. Crash reporting creates detailed reports of the errors in your app. Errors are grouped in clusters of similar stack traces and triggered by the severity of impact in the users. In addition to automatic reports, you can log custom events to help capture the, the steps leading up to a crash. Crash reporting uh, during the course of this recording is currently in a better release while there is a result, you know, which are issues in the Android and iOS platform. So I'll be taking you through on how to actually set up a Firebase crash reporting in your Android application. So we'll be going straight to uh, our Firebase console. Uh, where I have the Firebase invite as the project. Uh, now uh, we've created, I added two applications, that's two Firebase ad application to this project, uh, where we have the Firebase crash report and also the Firebase uh, invite. Now, if you notice the Firebase crash report, which is this one in particular, it has one user's imparted and two errors. Okay, let's look at the kind of error that was uh, actually uh, shown. Okay. All right, uh, these are the hours, you know, when I work about, we talk about 24 hours, 48 hours, uh, the seven days, 30 days, uh, they're just like a calendar to keep track of uh, the errors that happen within a particular time. Okay, uh, if you notice this cluster, we have a Java Lang no pointer exception. That's the particular error that was cached in the main activity Java class in line 58. Okay. And now, uh, if you should notice this, the package become the Lara Studios Firebase main activity on click. Yeah, in the main activity, that's the uh, that's the uh, package of the error. Now, for us to actually get this uh, you are uh, acclimatized with it. First of all, you create a uh, a project and also add a, a Firebase project to this, and you actually come over to. Uh, the debug certificate you need to get a debug kickstart whereby you actually go to your windows which is the cmd this on the windows machine uh the key tool the list the version the key store the parts to the key store uh you actually need to uh do this this line of code we actually get you your debug uh debug key store and also you're going to generate the sh1 you know which is this you need this sh1 in the course of this application so you need to copy this sh1 the code of this sh1 from here so after you might have run this command you get the sh1 so you copy this sh1 and you're going to bring it over to uh the project settings so in your project settings which is for the project uh you're going to add up the sh1 the certificate fingerprint over here which i have right there so once you have this so that uh the application can be able to test in a debug uh mode so that you don't really have to upload to the google cloud console or to the google play before you can actually get your crash tested so we did once you created and you build up in a debug mode either in your emulator or your real device the crash can be cached so that's just what that is actually uh doing so you actually need your, your JSON file as well. After you might have created this uh, Firebase app on this project, uh, you, you are going to download this, the, 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 the JSON file, so which is the Google Services JSON, this JSON file in particular. Once you, once you download this JSON file, you're going to add it to your app directory of the source file. So, so that it's just going to compile together. All right, I'll be moving straight to my Android Studio, which is the uh, development environment for this application okay uh in my android studio i'll be talking about first of all the app session which is the uh dependencies the build.gradle module app uh in the dependencies if you notice we have the uh firebase crash 9.0.1 you no know, the go come to google the firebase crash very important and also we have the apply plugin the google.gms.google services that also is very very important uh, afterwards, we'll look at the project session of the Build Gradle, uh, where we'll talk about the Google GMS Google Services, the 3.0.0. No, you just have to upgrade your Google your Google Play services in your SDK. You, 
you have to launch your SDK as a standalone. So you have to like upgrade the Google services and also the Google repository. You know, I think I've done that in my previous lessons. So you can catch up with that. All right. Afterwards, we'll be talking about the activity main.xml. This is the uh, layout of the application. It's a relative layout. Whereby we have the match parent for weight, night, uh, the padding bottom, left, right, and top at 16 dps. Uh, it's calling from the context, the Laris Studios, Firebase Crash, main activity. All right, we have an image view whereby we assign an ID called icon and the layout with an ID is wrap content. While the center horizontal is true and the margin bottom is also 16 dp, the drawable is calling from the, the source is actually calling from drawable Firebase lockup 400 PNG. You know, this is going to show the Firebase logo. Okay, afterwards we have a button whereby we assign an ID called crash button. And also it's also wrapping content and the text on it is called cost crash we have a checkbox okay uh whereby we have an id called catch the crash checkbox okay and the align end align right align left and the align starts are also calling the id of the crash button okay and the text on it is called catch crash all right we'll be looking at our main activity which is the logic of this uh application okay uh we have an import called uh, the from the Google Firebase crash, uh, Firebase crash. No, this is actually only the crash itself. Uh, we actually imported the checkbox widget and the button widget as well. The main activity extends app compact activity where we have a feed called uh, string tag. Uh, the main activity is being uh, associated with it. We have an uncreate method where we have we call it the super uncreate save instance state where we set the content view to the layout of the activity main. Now the checkbox to indicate when to catch the thrown exception. Okay, we cast the checkbox onto the ID called catch crash checkbox. So the button that causes the null pointer exception to be thrown, uh, we have the crash button and also we cast the button onto the ID called crash button. Whereby we're going to set an unclick listener to this crash button. Now, the lock that crash button was clicked, you now this version of crash log will include the message in the crash report as well as show the message in lockout. Okay, for us to show it in lockout, we call on the lockout. And the login for the tag, which is the crash button, we're gonna pass click, is we're gonna pass into it. If the crash if the catch crash checkbox is check catch the exception and reports is using the crash report, otherwise throw the exception and let Firebase crash automatically report the crash. So, so if the catch crash checkbox is checked, no, we're gonna try and catch some stuff. While we're trying, we're going to throw a new null pointer exception, just like what you saw earlier in the console. Now you're going to cache the exception, and we're going to start the log and report. You now where we're going to log this to the lockout and also report this to the uh, Firebase console. So else, we're going to throw a new null pointer exception. Okay, actually, uh, I've actually tested this on a real device. You can also test it in emulator, but emulator must have the latest Google Play services. And also your real device too, you might have, you should upgrade your Google Play services to the latest version as a recording. And also, so that you'll be able to have the Firebase uh, functionality embedded in it. All right, I'll be showing you uh, the, the screenshot, you know, of this particular application. This is the main activity where you have the Firebase, the cost crash and the checkbox for the catch crash. So I'm going to click on the cache, the cost crash reader which actually going to crash the application. You're going to have the unfortunately Firebase crash has stopped. You know, the application has stopped. So now in our lockout, we get to have this uh, uh, error, which is the FATA exception, which is, which is the Java lang null pointer exception. Okay. After this might have been done, you must actually run this in a debug mode and you must have created your SHA key so that uh, you know, the, the, the console will actually identify this particular application and as well, the uh, package must also be the same with the package used in this uh, application so that uh, the console will actually catch up this uh, error and actually show it gracefully. So after I've run this, so that costs us to actually show our crash report, you know, whereby we have two errors because I tried it twice. And uh, the null pointer exception is the major error we actually used in this application. This is very, very good in the terms of making your application scalable and even more robust in the sense that even after your application might have been uploaded to the server, you should have a full grip of what can crash the application and you get uh, the response on the crash so that you can be able to fix some bugs, 
push some updates and get your application more robust and error free you know this is going to actually help a lot it's going to help developers a lot to keep track of the application and keep track of the kind of error that's been triggered while the uh, the application is being used by the users so that's where we have the null pointer exception and also we have the stack trace you know so this is very very good you know it's good for development purpose and it's also good for debugging purposes thank you very very much for listening i hope you've actually understood one or two things i will upload this to my source code uh to my github account rather so that you can be able to pick up the source code get acclimatized with it and you also use it in the course of your application thank you very very much once more for listening and don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a wonderful time bye bye